will become the arena of politics. Reality may be completely different. And indeed, I believe it is different in the case before your lordship. I appear before you very often. I have never entertained any idea about your standing in relation to justice. But the perception now that has been painted by my able, learned friends, clients, Mr. Ndegwandiru, Mr. Kibbe, and Mr. Natalia, that there is a sizable portion of the Kenyan population <coughs> which will not be happy to hear you <coughs> sit and listen to this case at all. And may I remind your Lordship very respectfully, impeachment is all the case of the country. There is no way to can move away from that at all. I would respectfully refer you to a book. I have taken the trouble to read it. Iona, sorry for the interruption. We are muted again. Perhaps you could be unmuted so that we follow the proceedings. I wonder why it has happened in respect of Hamid. <laughs> <laughs> Can I speak now? Can I speak? Yes. You, you want to? Yeah. Yes. Your Honor, there is a book here, Politics of Presidential Impeachment. Politics of Presidential Impeachment. I've taken the trouble during the weekend to read this book. Impeachment is the politics of the country. There's no way you can remove it from the politics of the country. And that's why I'm saying very quickly that as you have been told, there are some people who feel very strongly that the situation is this. It's out. Let them get out of the to hear the case. You have no best to do in the matter. There's no reason for you to remain in the case when other people knew to want it in here. May I remind you, final thoughts, when you are hearing the people in cases, advocates to be able to think broadly and bring to the notice the culture of the people that you are serving. There is a little song that is, there's a song that is sung by a little girl in Kenya. Those of us who listen to Kenyan radio may have heard of it. She says in Kiswahili, Kenya and Yawatu are killing Kidogo. She sings very beautifully. Kenya and India are killing Kidogo. Now, when I talk about Kidogo, you are funny people. The majority of our people are not the people who are in this country before. The majority of our people are people who have not had the advantage of receiving the education, the training that the judges and the advocates, the members who are in this group. And as one of my other friends very aptly pointed out, the majority of the people believe that the case before you has been engineered by the politics of the country. And if, if some of them believe that your lordship cannot hear them, again, I say to you very, very respectfully, you stand to lose nothing. You better leave the case, let other people hear the case. And you will continue to maintain the name. My lord, to so go back to the politics of the division, this matter was passed as a national assembly. National assembly very overwhelmingly 
It was then referred to the Senate, and the Senate again stood to be <coughs> overwhelmed that David President was guilty and convicted accordingly. My Lord, the story is that one hears in the speech of my Lord. The story is that one hears elsewhere. You can't afford to be near, I don't even know it. Stories like members of parliament were each given hands of my mouth of money. That may be so, or may not be so, but it doesn't matter. They have made the point that members of parliament received bribes and they handed down a decision which majority of people believe that it was a corrupt decision. You cannot afford to know that. Now, when you go to the Senate, you are told the same thing, that members of the Senate received money in what is called is it quite partial or something of the sort, quite partial. They received money from non people. Again, you cannot afford to do that at all. Now, when they come to the judiciary, they expect the best. They expect people who are got integrity. They expect people who can hear them and who they cannot suspect at all. But if then they are suspecting some people, whether truthfully, whether honestly or not, it is my humble submission, the natural thing as a judge, if I was sitting where the Lordship are sitting, I would say, as Hanino, I'm walking out. Do not sit. It is the judiciary that people have got confidence in. That's why I may remind you, the Lordship is very respectful. It is the judiciary that people of Kenya actually have respect for. It is the judiciary, the judges, the people think that you can do good in Kenya. When we had program in the year 2007, it is the judiciary that served the country. When we had program recently during the time of President Uhuru Kenyatta, and the matter went to the Supreme Court, it is again the judiciary that served the country. Now, if you find people now are questioning the very institution of the judiciary, it's my humble submission that as a judge has to do Say thank you, I'm moving out. That does not necessarily mean that there is something wrong with you at all. And as I've said, my Lord, I've spent many years appearing before your Lordship with the justice of all and ambassador. At no time did anybody ever open his mouth and say to me that Khamenei, this justice of all is this, it is, it is, it is. Nobody ever did it. My Lord, Mr. Justice Moreno, I've had the privilege of appearing before you in many cases. There are cases where you have given me good There are cases where you have not given me good in all the support. But at no stage did I ever entertain an idea that there is something wrong with justice Moreno. We have confidence in all of you. But now, <coughs> this conference of perception. There are some people who feel very strongly that justice of all has to be out. Justice of all has to be out. And let me judge, may I say, I'm leaving you, I'm not speaking against you. I'm the one who has fought for rights of women. And I kept on shouting very loudly that we want women judges. I have, have not had the fortune of appearing before you very often. Actually, you have on a couple of times. <laughs> my memory is letting me down. <laughs> but my Lord, may I say, I have had the opportunity of appearing before you. And may I say this, most my Lord, if you go and check the Judicial Service Commission records, you will not find a single letter from John Kaminwa complaining against any judge. 
I have never done such a thing at all. It's because I've got confidence in our judges. I've got confidence in our magistrates, magistrates, that they live at justice. But I'm just saying you, my lords and my ladies, if at this time we have some people who feel very <coughs> strongly in the camp because they, should, they may not get justice before you are told, please walk out. Don't continue to get the truth. And it is the people who are saying that your lordships or my lady do not hear the, this case. When they are speaking, you cannot really criticize them. They have got some valid complaints. My Lord, the United States of America, which I had the opportunity and the privilege of getting and studying their jurisprudence, they gave me additional equal education. The United States of America, which has an impeachment provision like a tenant, for 200 years, there is no president or deputy president who has been impeached and the impeachment has succeeded. None at all. None at all. Kenya, a young country, which got the first constitution involving impeachment provisions, came into operation in 2010 and in 2024 we are now being told the deputy president has been impeached successfully, has been found guilty. Is it unreasonable to suspect there is something wrong? Is it unreasonable to suspect that someone is doing something wrong? A child may be an act, <coughs> may not be probably properly educated, but it's a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Why should he be the first one? within such a short time to be impeached in the country. Isn't there, is, can't you suspect there is something wrong? That you are not doing some things properly. That America, which has had impeachment provisions for 200 years, has never successfully convicted someone for impeachment at all. Thank you, Dr. Kabinwa. Thank you very much. May I say thank you, may I say with your respect, I would appreciate it. If you would afford Mr. Peter. Thank you. Just two minutes, my lords. <coughs> in considering this application for recusal, I plead that you bear in mind the following. One, your brother, Mr. Justice, 